Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to find an ice wyvern egg, how to find wyvern milk, how to hatch the egg and how to imprint on the wyvern that comes out. Um, I'd also like to say a big hello to our newest member in the group, there he is, fast asleep, bless him. And uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what an ice wyvern looks like in case you wasn't aware. Um, this beast will be what we get today. Uh, may possibly not be the same colour. Now for this you want to head as far north as you can, uh, nearer the top right of the map. I'll bring out the map for you, I've indicated them trench A and trench B um, to make it a bit more uh, noticeable where they are. Um, you could travel to either trench A or trench B if you like, um, either one's fine. Trench B is actually the point of where you'd find the, wire fiver, uh, the fire wyvern cage. Um, but we won't be doing that today, that'll be a later date. Quite possibly when I borrow someone's fire wyvern off the tribe. You can use other tames that fly for this. Um, I would recommend either sort of going on a suicide mission and flying in there and getting a low level wyvern like I've got here. Um, or you could use an Argentavus if you like, but it's not advisable as it has no ice resistance like this does. Um, and you will be slowed down and possibly killed, but if you're lucky you can do it. Around this location is also a good place to put a trap base. Um, I'll show you that a bit later. A trick here, as you can see, um, is to fly in low if you can. Um, sometimes they are out of the way, but other times it is best to just fly low. You might have some good luck um, and be able to fly in there unnoticed um, but you, you know if you have a bit of bad luck um, I'll also show you the best way to clear the trench um, with or without combat. Now you see I've noticed the first egg there so sometimes it's a bit tricky to get in and um, this is a low level wyvern so it's not too bad so I will take this one out. Um, they're relatively easy as you can see the ice blast does no damage to me because I am an ice wyvern myself. Um, so I've knocked that out relatively easy. I would have posed a bit more of a threat had I been in any other tame, like an RG or even a Pteranodon. But what you want to do is, you, you want to kind of do what I'm doing now and you want to face the exit so it would be easier to sort of run if you need to. Um, also, as you can see, there are three to four eggs stacked in the same position. This does happen from time to time. Um, it's not a big issue. Uh, you can either collect the eggs now or you can go and search for some more. Um, search other nests and hope that you can find a higher level. Um, we're trying to aim for something more along the lines of 150 plus if we can. Uh, this one I found was 160 I believe um, before I trained it up. Uh, there are quite high levels but you know there are a lot lower levels as you can see. I like smashing into things. The turning circle of this big beast is not great but what it lacks in cornering it more than makes up for ice resistance. You want to keep doing this back 
back and forth and stuff. What you'll see is I'll uh, I'll grab this egg and I'll I'll wait in hopes that there was just going to be one or maybe two the the mum and dad of the level 15 egg that you saw there. Um, unfortunately, uh, level 95 comes along. Um, to which I was then educated in the fact that all the wyverns like having a go. So that one's on me. Now you can see, I did want to try and take them all out, but I knew that I wasn't going to because the 95 would have posed a bit of a problem when stacked up against the rest as well. You see, I took one out. Um, I am getting quite low on health, as you can see in the top corner. Um, so you could either stay and fight or you can live and fight another day. And that's pretty much what I decide now. That's just a demonstration of how quick things can sort of turn badly. Um, also upon fighting them, you do lose a lot of stamina. Um, with this creature as well, you run out of stamina and you are prone for more attacks. Now, as I said before, their ice attacks don't really bother me because it won't do no damage whatsoever. However, their bites will, and I am pretty low on health. If you can, you want to lure them away as much as you can for other things. Um, I found a good trick is to aggro them, but just fly past anything really. Um, as long as it's not too weak, something like a uh, Tyrannodons, you know, they kind of fly around a little bit, so it gives you a bit of time, but you know, you want to find something that's a bit more armored um, and a bit more high health um, to keep them occupied. As you can see, I've landed on another nest. It is sometimes a bit awkward to land or even position yourself without them sliding forward. As you can see, it's a level 25, so it's not really something we'll be looking for. You, as I said you, before, you can either take the egg um, or you can look for another nest within this trench and, and hope for the best. As you can see, I spotted another one. See, position is the key. The last thing you want to do is fall off this and end up down at the bottom of the trench because you will fall from this height and die. Um, as you can see, I've seen the stack of three to four. I believe there was three in there. Um, what you do is you'd pick them all up and you'd, that's it, I'm just making sure they're in my inventory and then you'd fly away, um, basically, because the onslaught that will pursue you in a minute, which you can see there. Um, it's relatively easy. I wouldn't recommend going straight home because they will follow you all the way home. Um, as you probably know already from taking dino eggs, they will follow you all the way home um, and likely destroy everything. Uh, the Ice Wyverns as well only have one set speed. Um, you'll notice on the stats that it'll be 100% and there is no way through leveling up um, of, of, uh, to increase it whatsoever. As you can see there, I'm just giving you a quick little look of the trap base that was set up by the tribe. Thank you tribe. Um, and obviously a, a vantage point there, a shooting point as well as a, a little safety building. Um, what you want to do as well is uh, you want to try and lure one of them to this general area. Um, that's why I was just sort of sat down there because they'll aggro on anything that's within this, this area here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll stay in this area. You can see one that was up there. Um, hopefully, they'll stay in this area for us to sort of get trapped in here later um, for the wyvern milk. But it has to be a female wyvern, so... A uh, good little trick as well is to eat any of the eggs that you don't want because the eggs that you eat will respawn as other eggs. Um, if you don't hatch or eat the eggs, you will not get any more eggs respawning in the nest. 
as you can see, a Tranodon later on <laughs> that evening um, actually guided one into the trap, but it came straight back out. But that's generally the gist of it. It's a one-way system. Um, there is a hole that, near where I was sat um, where you take a smaller dino. You certainly wouldn't use this wyvern because it would get trapped. But you take a smaller dino that can fly through there, um, guide it in there, and, uh, and then come out the other side, leaving it trapped. But I will demonstrate that for you in a bit. As I said, sometimes you can be lucky and not get much interaction with the other wyverns, um, depending on where they're located. Uh, there was a few times, um, as you can see, I'm still quite low health um, and the level of the eggs I'm finding isn't great. Um, but as I said, you could either fly away or, or take them. Um, knowing that I've already eaten three eggs, I know that there's bound to be three more eggs in place. I've also noticed as well is if you get them to aggro on smaller things that are quick at dying, they will return to following you even if you do go home. So the trick is to find something heavily armored or high in health to try and grab their attention long enough for you to uh, get to where you need to be and for them to sort of forget you're, you even exist. That's the theory. Whether that works like that for everyone, I'm yet to test, but so far it's worked for me. And so far one of the blighters haven't made their way back to the base to destroy it. Otherwise, I would probably be in great trouble with the rest of the tribe for uh, destroying the base. I found as well that if one that is persistent in not giving up, what you want to do is try and get all the ones that follow. Um, if there's one in front of you that hasn't noticed you, get it to notice you, especially if you, you're on um, riding an ice wave, wyvern yourself. Um, you want to get one that notices you um, so you can grab that attention onto aggro and something else so you get a bit of a clearer run. Um, like as you see here, I've just gone back and I didn't clear one of them and now uh, it's on me. Um, there's also a location I'll show you. Here's the one, me uh, grabbing the attention of as many as I can here. Um, he's swooping down, going back up again. Um, because on this side of the trench, which would be trench B on the map that I showed you previously, um, there are some mammoths. Now, what you'd want is obviously them. <laughs> They're closer for a start and they are more tanked up on the health. So it would be ideal to get their attention. which does look like I've got their attention and also not the best landing spot because I got the attention of a rock golem there as well. But you definitely got to keep a close eye on stamina as well because uh, that will be the decider whether or not you live or die in this. The AI, um, when, they're, when they're controlling the ice wyverns, seem to have um, an infinite stamina bar so they can launch off as many ice beams um, as they can and bites and infinite flying time whereas uh, a semi-decent wyvern can get off two um, before running out of stamina it does drain the stamina a lot and uh, we'll see what egg this one is but as you can see, I got rudely interrupted. This does happen a good few times, but I will cut out those times. And this is a prime example of my stamina running out. I didn't give enough time for my stamina to build up before I ventured for the next egg. Um, and now I'm paying the price. Um, best thing to do if you've got just enough health is just stay still until you get 
nearer a quart of stamina just so you can get up and out of the way and make a magra on something else. As I said before, they have infinite stamina, which is a bit unfair, but it is what it is, and we try and work to the best of our abilities, really. As you can see, that one's still aggroing on the mammoths there, which is nice. And now there's another one to join the mammoth party. This is not a bad spot to rest for stamina, I found. As you can see, I've gone back now um, after two or three more tries and I found a level 100, which is not a bad find. This will be a pretty decent starter egg for you guys. Um, if you're new to catching wyvern eggs and you've just flown in there on the off chance of trying to find one. As long as you've got a fast flying tame, you can, you can definitely do this. As you can see, now I'm back at the nest and there's my level 180. This is ideally the one I want to keep. So this is the one that I'll probably end up going home with. Obviously, every time you do pick up an egg, no matter where the wyverns are, if they've noticed you or not, they will still follow you. Like most dinos on this game. As you can see, the wyvern's still here, attacking the mammoths. There's the two down there. And it's time to head home. Um, I will pass the trap base to show you. So where I am on the map now is where it's a good place to put the trap base. It's just out of the cold and also a nice flat area. Um, as you can see there, there's a wyvern there. So fingers crossed it's a female um, because we want that near the trap base ideally. As I said, they do, especially if they're up this high, they won't aggro on anything. So they'll stay there until dispatched. So yeah, that turns out to be a female. So level 95, it's a bit higher level than I'd want for a dino that I was due to, you know, knock out with uh, with tranquilizers. But um, it's better than trying to find one that's lower leveled. As you can see, I've also got a, another egg in there from a previous time. Um, I didn't really want to hatch that one. As you can see, I'm stocking up with the water and you make sure you've got food and a trank gun with a rifle. You can use a crossbow and uh, trank arrows, but the long net rifle does tend to be a little bit better. So yeah, there she is, the beauty. And just always make sure before approaching that it is still the female. Cheers. Same female. So you want to get her attention, really. She did aggro in quite a lot, actually, to be fair. Um, this was a good 10, 15 minutes waiting because I went a bit low and she aggroed on everything. Everything she could find until eventually she was able to aggro on me. And this is essentially how you want to do it. You want to sort of slow down a bit. You don't want to go in there all guns blazing. You want to line her up until she bites you and then get round and shut that gate. Because the moment you shut the gate, she's in there. Here is a good place to put your tame. It's out of the way. Not likely to get attacked. There you can see I was jammed up on it. There's a good vantage point as well. You want to make, always make sure left and right that there's nothing going to be coming. And yeah, you just shoot the tranks from there. Um, if you're like me, you forget to take your dinos off of follow mode. And uh, when I take a few steps forward, just to make sure I can get a couple of cleaner shots, because um, the pillars are in the way, um, you'll notice now that my RG is to the left of me, because um, it flew out, so, which made me panic because it did get kind of near the, uh, the wyvern as well um, and did take quite a bit of damage or would have done had I not noticed. 
it does take a few tranks to knock this thing down. Uh, obviously the higher level, the more tranks required, the lower level, the less. So and the trick is what you want to do is you want to knock this thing down. Then you want to go over there as quick as you can. I mean, you'll have time because it is like knocking out a standard dyno anyway. So you want to keep firing and keep firing. And as you can see, bless her, she's knocked out. She's had too much. So you want to go over, and the first thing you want to do is open up her inventory, and you want to look for the milk. And that's the stuff we came for. That's the treasure. Now, unfortunately, we do have to dispatch her because knocking her out again would not produce any more milk. So she is no longer any use for us to be in this trap, um, and would be a high risk to be letting her out. So we dispatch her. And then we'll make our way home and uh, store this stuff accordingly until we're ready to hatch. So you put it in a preserving bin with some spark powder um, and that gives you around about four hours. Um, it is, you know, fast at going bad so you do want to kind of get this the milk just before you're ready to hatch the egg uh, it gives you enough time to hatch the egg and imprint as i've worked out um, you are best off getting the milk uh, my first two tames i ever done with the ice wyverns um, i was fortunate enough to have just walks and cuddles to give them to care for them um, the one you see uh, that was called Sub-Zero, unfortunately wasn't 100% imprinted because I didn't have the milk with me. I thought I'd be cheeky and try and not bring any milk, thinking that it would probably need walks and cuddles or maybe some kibble. Um, that was not the case. As you can see, there is a 12 minute wait time for these eggs to hatch. And there's the baby. Has a bit of a glitch moment there where it tries to go up. Um, claim it as quick as you can, take it off wandering mode would be ideal and ideally take it off follow mode. As you can see this one strangely glitched and got airborne uh, which is the first time I've seen that. It did make it difficult to imprint. Um, when it does ask for wyvern milk you want to put it in your hot bar number zero which is the far right and then press E on the, uh, on the baby wyvern. That is the only way to force feed them. Do not put them in the inventory. Um, they will just eat them and use them as their food source. Uh, these guys do not eat meat um, when they are babies. They will only eat meat when they're adults. So the more you put in their inventory, the more they will eat to go towards their food bar. Um, don't put them in any other hot bar slot either because it will not work and you will end up drinking it. As you can see this one, then required cuddles, which was nice. It's a quick thing to catch up on the on the milk. Here's me respraying it. What I'm gonna do is just load up one of my custom ones. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go for my McDonald's look. It is the brightest colour wire and I've actually got at the moment. But I'll also show you uh, what else you can do to it if you don't want to colour it. This is a mod we've got that di does dino colours. And this is the final imprint I believe on it um, where it required me to follow. Now it's a bit quicker to fly around and get it to follow you that way um, rather than trying to weave in and out of the base all the time. As you can see it's fi finally imprinted now. I've just got to wait for it to fully mature. And then it'll be ready to ride. And that's it. That's one fully matured, fully imprinted wyvern. 
and that's four ice blasts as well which to be honest is perfect my other ones will only do in two so the stamina on this thing is great and this is only base stats as well the uh, the health is at least 2,000 more and if you like a be a bit fancy put on a bone skin and make it look like this what a beauty this would also look much better with a fire wyvern and thank you guys uh, that's the tutorial my first tutorial uh, like and subscribe and follow uh, there'll be more content to come thank you very much have a good rest of the day